Whitebrook 85, it's that time of year again. It is spring trip 2022. And uh, for the first few days, I think it's gonna be more like late winter trip. Because I think I'm gonna have a fire going tonight and maybe for the next couple nights till it warms up over the weekend. But here I am, Route 1, heading north. I'm gonna stop by uh, Syntax's house, but I'm not picking him up. He's gonna join us tomorrow afternoon. Same thing with uh, the chairman, and then uh, Cook will be up on Sunday. And unfortunately, medical man had a work obligation. He was in, he was going, and then some gentlemen flew in from overseas that he had to meet with. So unfortunately, he cannot make it. So I have my fishing gear all packed up in the back. I have a spare rod in case Sean needs one. He's got a he's got a fly rod. He's going to try out, but in case he wants to bait fish like I do. Uh, have a rod for him. Hey, grab that beverage, grab a coffee, grab something stronger if you want, and uh, come on along. Well, just arrived at camp. A good ride up. Traffic was a little bit heavy until I got out of past maybe Philly and Allentown and then it lightened up again uh, good ride uh, here about two o'clock so gives me a chance to get some things into the cabin and have a little lunch uh, uh, maybe get some wood together I know I'm gonna need a fire tonight and uh, the gas will be going but uh, I'm gonna need a little fire tonight and uh, you just get some things ready uh, talk to Sean stop by his place and uh, he'll be on the way up tomorrow morning and I think we're gonna we're gonna hit the creek tomorrow afternoon if all goes well. Pine Creek, Creek or Creek, however you want to pronounce it, depends where you're from. Heater is on over there. We got about 50 degrees inside, 49 out. Yep, that's what we got right now. Let's go out here on the deck for a sec, see what we got going. There's our Eco Flow Delta and the, the big 400 watt solar panel. Chicken, buffalo style chicken breast. So some crackers and cheese. Uh, go ahead and eat that now, and then we'll get a get a dinner a bit later and then watch a little movie. I think I'm gonna take a walk up there and uh, where they're supposed to start logging and we'll talk about that in a couple minutes nice day out here today beautiful day you can see not a cloud in the sky nice and sunny up there that bright sun now uh, let's get this going let's get this charged up and let's get me a little bit charged up getting about 155 160 watts input right now i don't have it positioned exactly correct like i said i just top it off a little bit but here we are in our landing area uh he is not here yet but it's expected any day as a matter of fact could be tomorrow it could be monday i was actually hoping they was going to get started while we were here i could actually text one of the guys and see uh what the status is right now so here we are right here but any day now as they say you can see those blue dots and they're the trees that are coming down they're marked for cutting so they could start tomorrow or monday and uh, so this is going to be about a month or so to do it i am going to come up uh sometime in the future before they're done or and uh, just to make sure that they didn't leave the place a mess and things are the way we thought they were going to be when they're finished Over at the mineral pit, got a lucky buck. I'm just gonna put 
probably about a third of a bucket. I still see a lot over here, just a little bit. Picked up some uh, protein blocks at Walmart. Uh, if you can see the yellow sticker, it's two dollars and thirty-nine cents, uh, and that's that's a pretty good deal. This was a clearance thing, end of the year. These are great flavored, and I uh, figured I'd put some out here. Got a couple I'm going to put over in the field. Maybe a bear will come over and uh, maybe we'll be able to get some film with that. But I'm going to put two of those here. The bears are probably up and carrying these away. Yep, that's about a third of a bucket. That's all we need right now. Come up, we'll do some more the next time and more the next time after that. I did have a lot of deer come in when I put the lucky buck out the first time, about a month ago. Nothing developing antlers yet at this time, but I'm just happy to see the deer here. So this will help them along a little bit more. Hopefully be able to ride out this last little bit of uh, winter and the beginning of spring what we're in right now gary's quick steak this is like uh this stuff steve brings up he brings up the uh, neighborhood one the ribeye one but this is just a different one this is sirloin and it's got some wow seasoning with it so we're gonna make a nice big big cheese steak putting all this on one nice giant roll some cheese and uh, i'll be set Now that is a cheesesteak. Got some of these garlic parmesan chips to go with it. And going with a little bit of a hot and spicy ketchup. Well, it's time to kick back. It's still light out, but a little cool to be sitting out on the deck, 47. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start uh, where I should say continue watching uh, Deadwood. As uh, you saw last time, I was able to get the second season, I think, from uh, on eBay for uh, under six dollars. Got the third season for under seven, and the movie for eight or something like that. So um, I have everything. Uh, I'm only on maybe third episode of season two, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, watch Deadwood. Uh, in honor of that, I brought up the Deadwood cigar. Oh, this is the Betty, and that's uh, Deadwood, the Drew Estate uh, Deadwood tobacco collaboration little pipe tobacco ish so for those of you that maybe turned off a little bit on cigars but kind of like the sweeter ones uh, this would be probably one that you'd like sweet tip little mix of pipe tobacco in there five to eight percent pipe tobacco mixed in with this so having the dead woods and uh, a nice ipa over here i'll get into beers a little tomorrow i guess and uh I brought up uh, another ham radio. Uh, this is the uh, Yesu FT5DR, and uh, this is a pretty nice radio. Just got it last weekend at the Ham Fest down in Sussex County, Delaware, and uh, I was able to get into the repeater, or at least I heard the repeater talking to somebody. I can get into it even with the metal roof, and I know when I'm out on the deck tomorrow, uh, we'll hear it, and uh, maybe I'll, I'll see if I can get a hold of somebody, see when they're doing a net. Again, the, the Yesu, uh, pretty pretty nice radio for those of you uh, getting into hams. A little on the pricey side, I'll have the link below, but uh, a very nice radio and can do uh, can do the digital stuff if, you, if you're on a hot spot. So everybody have a good one, and I'll catch you in the morning. It was a good night last night. A little Deadwood on TV, a little Deadwood cigar, and uh, yeah, smoke that down to the nub just about. That was a, that was a, that's a good cigar. Like I said, for those folks that that don't like the, the real strong type cigar, that, that might be one you want to check out. Again, I'm not trying to push cigar smoking on anybody. That's up to you if you want to do that. I didn't really start till later in life, in my 30s. Started smoking cigars, and then kind of stopped for few five five eight years i think the one i had there from the last time i was up i think i had one at home so it's not like it's an everyday thing i just enjoy them up here so again deadwood if you if you want to pick one up and uh, sit down and enjoy a cigar might be one for you 
But here we are having some coffee this morning, and that coffee, that's uh, Black Rifle from the folks at Black Rifle. This is the Freedom Roast. Just ground this yesterday. It's super, super. And I bought that stuff. It's not stuff sent, sent to me, but like the Black Rifle. Nice medium coffee, good flavor. Oh, it was smelling good as I was pouring that water in there, and it was starting to do its first uh, bloom, I guess you call it. Really good. Uh, I came out about quarter of uh, six today. It just was, it was getting light. Did a few turkey calls. Did a few turkey calls again uh, recently, uh, right before I set the camera up here. and have not heard anything uh, answered back or any gobbles off in the distance. Didn't bring the turkey stuff at all. It's just a interested to hear if something would answer and if something's around etc but uh, hey speaking of turkey let's uh, let's wind the clock back a couple weeks and let's head down to delaware and see what happened in delaware turkey season okay. brian and i first day of turkey season here in delaware heard some gobbles already when we were getting ready uh, a little bit of a misty cloudy morning so we got some decoys out, and uh, well, as always, we'll see what happens here. It's been a good spot. We'll see if the luck continues. Good shooting, go ahead. Just, just don't shoot the boy. Oh, no. Uh, it's getting close. It's, it's close. Can I zoom in? There's a lot of hands going out. He's done. He's done. He's done. <laughs> that's how you double right that's, there. That's how you do it. <laughs> Woof. A little smoky in here. Woo. Got him out there. Well, here he is. <laughs> you got a nice beard on him. I got the tape measure back at the Jeep and the scale. Well, we got to go to the check station. You know that routine. Got to go to the check station. But, uh, great turkey. Get some picks here. Ryan's over there with his. I think he's talking to either his wife or his dad. And uh, letting him know. But, uh, good morning down here on the farm. Well, here we are, Ryan. It's about uh, what time we got here? About eight thirty. Uh, yeah, eight twenty-three. So it's probably what'd you say? Eight ten. We got those or eight oh five? Yeah, just like after eight. So it was a nice double. I uh, enjoyed spending the morning just talking to Ryan, just catching up a little bit. That's one thing about turkey hunting. You can sit there and talk a little bit, conversation. So that was great. Nice couple birds. Uh, appreciate it. So, like I said, over there. We gotta get to the check station, have those checked in, and then we'll get on down the road. So, uh, let's get over there and see how we weighed out and measured. Mine's about nine, Ryan's about five inch beard, and weight, we're not sure yet. I'm still thinking he's about 22, 23, I'd say. Never a bit of, yep. yeah. Well, back to the spring trip video. Well, thanks to me for bringing me back to the present time. Oh, uh, that was a great turkey we had. Ryan and I had a really good morning in there. Uh, had a little bit of conversation, just some talking, and then birds came out and uh, harvested double, and uh, have not done that before. That was pretty interesting. And uh, it was a nice turkey, and uh, you know, very thankful. Let's have a good breakfast this morning of eggs sausages hash browns frying up here looking good and uh i know i'm gonna enjoy that for these uh protein blocks these fat blocks uh it's r1 
is actually the name R1 rack something uh, again these are the uh, peanut butter PB and J protein bar has a lot of peanuts in them uh, again I'm not sure how much deer are gonna like them I had them out there last night had this guy going past on the uh, game camera but didn't look like he came over and was interested but I can imagine with all the peanuts in here the crows and the squirrels and the chipmunks would go crazy over it so again since it was cheap at uh, at 239 uh, I figure why not just go ahead and get it and if, even if it's for the for the birds or the squirrels that's fine too but I'm gonna put it out here cabins right up over there so maybe if a bear comes by to check this out uh, we'll be able to see it off the deck which is always nice so let's get these out and then I have one other thing with me and I got the gloves on just because these are a little on the greasy side and uh, just trying to keep all that crap off my hands so thus the gloves but you don't don't particularly need them when you get stuff on clearance that's the time to test things out does it work does it not work do i ever want to spend any money on this again uh when you get something on clearance that cheap it doesn't matter one other thing i have here is a power station also from r1 rack one uh it's like a hanging lick basically a salt block uh apple flavor supposedly green apple flavor i'm gonna hang it right from the uh where I used to hang my feeder over here. I'm not putting the feeder up this year. And uh, it, it, I'm not sure the return on the feeder, it seemed like it was feeding more squirrels and chipmunks than deer. Uh, maybe next, after all the logging is done, things have settled down a little bit, then I'll go ahead and get this up. So let's, let's, let's hang this baby up, see what it's about. This is a clearance item, 250. I've tried one of these before in the past, behind the house, and had mixed results with it. Uh, we'll see what happens if a deer comes in for it. I'm, I'm really more thinking that a bear is going to come and grab this thing and probably yank it right off of here. But it's got the little cord. I'll put it on the hanging clamp here. Pull it out. And there it is. It just kind of hangs here. Uh, let me raise that up a little bit. And, uh, well, we'll see if anything comes by. I'm not going to put a camera on it or anything. It's not worth it. It's like one of those things. Well, well, I just won't buy it again. But uh, it's another nice spot. Right, come on over here for a second. Now you can see that. And here we go right over at the cabin. So we have a nice view right off the deck if something comes over. And up where the my trash is up there, that's where the uh, those PB&J blocks are at. And uh, we'll see if we get some crows or squirrels or deer or bear. Now you're talking only, only $10, $12 for all this. And if it works great, if it doesn't work, well, I know never to buy it again. Gonna get some of this beer on ice over here in the turkey cooler. Uh, real quick here, uh, was trying to go with the, the fish theme, as you can see this year. Uh, got the bush, they always do some kind of spring fishing thing. It's got the rainbow trout on there. And then Michigan, the two uh, hearted ale. Again, with the uh, with the trout on there, that's an IPA and Bush is just a lager. Uh, so that is, uh, that's the beer selection. Cape May, I did get the one with the crab one and I have a few of these stove pipes, just two of them or two, two or three of them with me. And one exception uh, here, this is uh, from Miss Spilly and that's the one that's down near me. This is threat level purple and it's got sort of the zombie look to it. That's an 11 percenter, uh, but I'll tell you what, for an 11% beer, that is fantastic. If you get a chance, a Mispillion Threat Level Purple, uh, really good beer. You know, I'm not telling you to drink four or five of them, but uh, usually on a night, maybe I'll have one or two stretched out over four hours, and you know that's fine. So uh, we got some got some fish theme beer here. We're gonna get them in the cooler. A nice sunny morning out here. Again, just a few a few clouds out there. But, uh, let's swing around and here we got our 400 watt panel out and again this is a temporary can't stay out all the time panel uh, that we're pulling about 200 watts at right now there's a few shadows on there from the trees but uh, that is doing good 
and I also have my mini this is a uh, charger for your cell phone and uh, it's pretty nice because it folds up and then you can just put your cell phone on there just through uh, pass through charging where you can have a couple ports in there but this is pretty nice lasts a long time does take a while to charge even in the sun takes a little bit of time get my head out of there there we go and that'll be charging up too and uh, so we're solar and looking around uh, for a spot to put our panels uh, again Mike said uh, he'd rather not have them up on the roof he doesn't want to introduce any failures to the roof which uh, I can't blame him so we're kind of looking down in this area this is off the deck here somewhere over there for those that have you that are visiting my Amazon storefront here it is again these are products that I really like that I found that helped me out up here and if you go in there you buy something uh, you know it, it helps me and the I've got, uh, I think, about $70 right now in in my uh, car, a gift card. It brings it into the gift card balance, which I'm going to buy that panel with. So those of you that bought this stuff, again, I really appreciate that uh, helping me out and you becoming part of the cabin and, and the, the camp. So uh, that's always great. Uh, but uh, I think the next trip up, uh, probably uh, going to have a panel with me and start to start to get it put out here somewhere permanently. I did talk to the log guy and uh, they're probably not gonna be here till next week. Uh, they, they just have a couple more trees to do where they're at right now. So uh, next week, and again, I am gonna definitely be up here before they're finished and before they move their equipment off just to, to make sure everything has turned out the way we want and they got the trees that we wanted them to get, etc. cetera. So uh, that'll be in the future. But for right now, uh, Syntex is on the way. He's coming up the long way through Harrisburg and up 15 that way. I uh, just wanted to do something different. So uh, he'll be arriving here shortly. And then the chairman will get here late this afternoon. So looking for their company and some good food and some fishing, etc. Yeah, 260 in or so. And nothing out. I'm not using it right now. But the 59% full battery wise, and it'll take about four hours at this rate. But as the sun brightens throughout this morning, uh, we may get even more out of it. We may get up to the 300 range. Hey, one last thing. Got a uh, carpenter bee trap. Uh, we get carpenter bees that love to drill holes in this uh, little facing along here. So I've got the carpenter bee trap and uh, gonna go ahead and put this up. Never tried one before. Don't know how that's gonna work, but uh, give it a go. They say they go in there and they can't get out. And you you have this little plastic tube and it just drops open and the bodies will fall out. There it is hanging up with whether it'll work or not. I, I really don't know. Like I said, never used one of these before. I'm going to go and make another cup of coffee. Beautiful out here. I'm going to get that coffee and come out here, sit out the, here on the deck. Here to Jeep rolling in now. It's time for Syntex to come on in. Swing up and back right in. Yeah, yeah. Maybe able to get into that. It's just you for now. It's just Mike. So it's all right. Keep going. What's the matter? No backup camera on that thing? No. <laughs> Good right there. There you go. All right. somebody that's always for me when I when I meet somebody it's always like 
uh, it's kind of crazy, <laughs> really. Yeah, so it is, no doubt. Yeah. And I appreciate that, and appreciate the kind words. Absolutely, appreciate and your good, time. Yeah, good luck. Absolutely, good to meet you. Thank you. All right, good to meet you. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> no, I don't have the voice. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs>
license underneath. So it's been 12 years. It's been a long time, and it's, I think it's time for me to, to go ahead and get back into it. I know Chairman likes it that I'm, we're down here, and she's, we're not kind of just standing there watching us. Here you got Sean over there. He's getting ready with his fly rod, and beautiful Blackwell as always, and the Chairman is up on the other side of the bridge up that way. Here, just the head. Uh, uh, just, yeah. <laughs> All right. Look at that whopper. That's a whopper. That's a whopper. <laughs> <laughs> what the f just the Oh, look how thick he is. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> might nice. Be a shad. Yeah, it could be a shad. It's a river shad. What the? Who Go down. All right, I started getting rain. Yeah. I think they were going over the top, weren't they? Be turning those steaks over in just a minute, and while those steaks are resting, those onion rings are coming up. Right, the steaks are about done. I'm gonna put them in the pan to rest them. Let those onion rings finish up. I think sausage and sausage uh, gravy and biscuits this morning is playing hell with those guys. They've been. They've had flats ones all afternoon. I'm fine. I'm doing all right. Oh boy. <laughs> Putting those right on top of the steak. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. Thank you, Thomas. All right. There Thanks you go. So. You're done. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, awesome. Okay. Well, there it is. Time for the camera to go off and some good eats. Well, after dinner. We got a little fire going here. We got some coffee with some uh, bourbon bowl uh, creamer in it. And uh, just gonna enjoy a cigar, fire, and then probably go watch a movie after this burns down a little bit. And a great evening, great day. Good to get back in the water again. I got a, still got a lot of rust to, to get off me, but I'm getting there. So, a great day. Cook will be arriving tomorrow, and we're hearing He's making burnt ends. Oh, probably Look not out. the best adjective. That's true, yeah, but the best choice hey, of definitely burnt the ends. Best choice of, uh, I'm, I am going to give him the benefit of the doubt and uh, and hope he pulls it off. Because if he doesn't, but uh, enjoy the evening. Good company here. Nice, uh, nice owners meeting. Owners night. Yep, yeah, owners yeah. night and uh, nice fire. So we'll, we'll catch everybody tomorrow. Bear action. Uh, it's a little early for that. <laughs> Psst. Oh, he's out. What's up, dog? <laughs> uh, was not. I told. Didn't I tell you guys I heard something stomping? Mm -hmm. And well, there you go. Deer, so what is that, Tom? Is that like a yearling? That's he's probably two young, years right? old. That's two years old. He's by himself. I, yeah. <laughs> I really hope. Well, he might. You never know. Maybe that's what we were seeing over there. Yeah, I put some peanut butter. Oh, you did? Stuff oh, you might get my brother Al. Special? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. And the eggs with sausage? Yeah, thank you. What's your touch? Mom, touch the high. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you need it there, kid? Yep. Come in. Come in. Lay on the floor for thirty seconds. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, I know. Can't be any worse than some of the meals that you had cooked by Steve. So it's oh yeah, that's true. That's so true. 
Hey, you want to wash your hands before you start talking? <laughs> nah. nah. I mean, yeah, if you guilt me to do it, I guess I'll have to there. Did you order the steak and eggs or something? Matthew? I think I got that five. Turkey. Did we get turkey burger? <laughs> oh, that was not on the menu like no. I call time. No. Yeah, we don't do it. No. Yeah, we were told that's some New York City thing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Do you need any hot sauce or anything like that? Okay. All right. Thank you. Nice. The classic Wellsboro cookies. And within three minutes, the grease is already through the bag. But let's take a look at these. Oh, totally worth it. That's as big as a softball, at least. <laughs> yep. It's not a Delaware Shad. Yellow Shad. Brownie, little brownie. Yeah. All right. There's Mike. He's on the board. All right, let him go. Or we'll save him for an appetizer. Not before oh, I well. get my still. Yep. I think I watch your YouTube channel. Uh, you, you probably do. Hey, hey, hey what's your name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you talking to me? Hey, talking to me? All right, well, here's camp. He just, uh, he just rolled in. So he's going to join us in the creek here and uh, see what he can get. So he's got to get geared up. We'll be back in a few. Oh, see? There you go. There's a nice little little guy I just got. Yeah. I'm starting to remember how to fish. You know, I said it's been a while, and Al, Al, these are, these are for you, buddy. Really, really I appreciate it. Just appreciated your friendship, and uh, getting back into fishing just brings back a lot of good memories for me. Wax worm. So let me get him off, get him back in the in the water again, let somebody else catch him another time. <laughs> so I crank it up to 600. Mm -hmm. I want to Sam's Club. And then we sear it. Okay. Uh, this looks like, yeah, this looks like takeout. Oh, wow! <laughs> He's the king Buddy can't go. He's the... Oh, now he's wrecking the thing for us, too. The human microwave. Yep. The reheater. You know, I'm going to have to cut the half reheater. of this tinfoil off. Okay. Give him the reheater, Johnny. Right, here's his burn ends here. Look like they're heating up nicely. I've seen beefaroni that looks probably this good. Oh, oh, oh come wow. on. <laughs> so I'm just going to check the mac and cheese. Right, let's check the, we got mac and cheese. They got... Uh, sauce. Barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. What do you mean caramel? Yeah, that was and there's that's green beans on this one. So we'll see what it looks like yeah. when it comes out. I'm sure that that's already looking really good. Though. All right, we got the burn ends, some beans, some mac and cheese. Let's see how this goes together on the plate. We oh, forgot the Hawaiian Kings. Oh, the Kings Hawaiian for those that like the Kings Hawaiian also. I know one of Eric's favorites, the cook and pork roll. What a nice breakfast is it going to be. But uh, today you're going to see something good. I'll, I'll leave it as a, a cliffhanger for you. But this morning we got Steve, we got some pork rolls, had a good dinner last night, and we're going to continue that this morning with some pork roll.
Well, here we are, Pine Creek Outfitters, doing a canoe trip. Uh, pretty long, it's gonna be about five, six, seven hours and, uh, here at Pine Creek. Gonna rent it a couple canoes. We're gonna get spirited up the river, dropped off, and then we will we'll paddle down here. This will be our, our ending spot right here. So I'm gonna go in and get checked in and uh, we'll get on our way. Well, here we are. Here we are, Pine Creek, and of course, uh, we all got recognized. Yep. So. Dude, I'm a, hat, bro. Thank you, I appreciate yeah, I'm a big it. Barstool thank guy. You. Yeah, thanks, yeah. me too. I'm Tyler, I work here at Pine Creek Outfitters, and uh, I recognize the guys, and mm. I'm gonna be shuttling them up to Gelton and mm. get them on some canoes. Okay, great, yes. all right. Let's go. So uh, Barstool just put a new bar in Philadelphia. Yeah, I was, that's where we're at. Yeah, that's where Steve lives in Philly. Okay. Cook lives in Philly. Oh, I was cool. born and raised in Philly. Nice. And then we moved to Ben Salem when we were a little town outside and that's where I met to like a brand new neighborhood okay that's where I met Steve okay so I got you like 12 we became friends nice so, I gotta ask you guys favorite cheesesteak uh, so oh, Captain's, uh, he's a James guy. I'm a Steve's guy <laughs> okay Steve's, Steve's king's estate is there anything Steve can do to not help yeah let him know <laughs> no I think he's good yeah I think he's good Hope, hope you got the extra large canoes for us. Yeah, right? <laughs> pay for full service, right? We did pay for full service. Much better than I think it could be, weather wise. Come on, why don't you guys get over there and help him before he gets a hernia? Sean, you're the youngest kid here. Here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Kind of a pain in the ass to get all by yourself. Okay. Flip it on. Oh, watch yourself. You're good. You alright? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Alright. Carrying? Yeah, let's get it. Okay. Carrie, you want me to carry that one? You can get that one off. Sure, thank you. Okay. And I'll just stand here. I'll just, I'll just stand here like the old Ford I am. Yeah, I got two hours to live anyway. Yeah, that's right. I only got two hours to live anyway, from what they're saying. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Professional. Yeah. <laughs> kind of botched that a little bit, but yeah, it's okay. I still like to know why but all both of us are going backwards. Well I turned this around on purpose. Oh okay. Hey, he's got skill. Yeah. He's got no skill. I mean, look at that hole, Tom. Stop it, Yeah, he, he called us all out by name. Well, we're going to eventually float. Mm. Oh, they went through it pretty good. Yeah, they're moving over there. Yeah. Steve said it was something about the $50 you didn't want to pay. Hmm. Yeah, we got a, we got a bald eagle up in this tree right here. We're going to try to drift down to him. So we'll see if he'll take off. You okay, steering? You alright steering back there? Alright, what? Steering. Yeah, it just looks like a shallow parking lot. Bob, do you hear that? No. If you were on the same you to the What would his work, Steve? Well, how do you know that? Because my hand is on his head. Oh. Go to the light.
Uh oh, big rock. Big rock. We might bump it. Iceberg. Oh, oh. straight ahead. <laughs> oh, you felt that. Iceberg. Straight ahead. <laughs> oh, Steve, there's your promised land. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Body heaven. Oh. oh, gosh. Look at that. Uh huh. <laughs> Potter. No wonder it's called Potty County. That worked. Inside. Yeah, he's taking the inside track. Now he's just gotta go straight. Woo! Straight down the middle! Let's go, fishing! <laughs> Pretty close, bitches. I think so. I think we're gonna end up right where we were yesterday at the uh, the bend in the river there where we saw the palominos. I think we're going to stop, get out for a little bit, and fish right there for, I don't know, however long we feel like it. I could use a little stretch, maybe a drink. Personal flotation okay. device on. Once they get in those waders, Tom, it still would have weighed you down. And that's nice. And that's all you that need. Today's video is sponsored by the snorkel. <laughs> you never know when you might just you need might one. You might need one. <laughs> that's right, the snorkel. We're almost back, I think. Yeah, we had a little issue. A little issue. We did a little tumbling in, but uh, that's not going to stop us from doing this again. That's for sure. But, uh, I think uh, I think the outfitter should be up around a few bend, a few more turns. All right, we're wrapping it up. We're pulling into Pine Creek Outfitters here on Pine Creek Route Six, Ansonia. Go ahead and visit them and tell them White Rook and the gang sent you. Yeah, tell them that. Tip your drivers. Use use uh, use code. I fell in twice for a twenty hey! percent discount. Wet Rook eighty five and Swim Tax signing off. Swim hmm. Tax. I'm going to take my stuff to the hotel. It's just kind of funny to hear it talk about. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chicken breast on top. SOB burger that was here, right? Yes, thank you very much. Right, thank you. Can I get your resume peels right now? Oh, you don't know? Go on with that. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Yep. Thank you very much. All right, that's a good one. These are unbelievable. Yeah. Wellsboro House. Yeah. Black and blue. Southwest burger. Mm -hmm. Kids bacon menu burger. burger. Wow. Bacon burger. And uh, Kansas City burger with mozzarella stick, basically mozzarella stick. All right. Oh my God. Wow. We are going to kick back, enjoy after that long day on the creek. Take it easy, Sean. Be careful, man. All right, will do. All right. See you again. Hey, okay, here we are taking off. 
Just went to the Wellsboro Diner for third time. That's got to be a record for third us. Time. You know, the guys are going to take off. Tommy, you want Duncan? No, I'm good. Thanks. Yeah, we'll take a walk. I got money. Huh? I got money. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, what are you going to do? Duncan? Yeah, I'm going to grab a cup. You want one? Okay. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'll hit Duncan. The guys are going to leave. I'm going to stay up for another day. Clean up up there. I got a couple deer running up the road with me. It's pretty steep over the side here, so I don't want to scare them too much and have them jump and hurt themselves. So maybe they'll just up. And here's another couple. Look at this. A little party on the road. You know, trying to figure out where to go. Where should we jump off? Maybe right down here, I guess. Take it easy down there. Well, here we are, last day of the spring trip. All the guys are gone. Sean's gone. And Mike and Steve left this morning after a little bit of Wellsboro Diner meal, which was fantastic as always. The one thing about Wellsboro Diner, you go in there for breakfast. We've been having the same exact breakfast for, you know, 30 years. I mean, you go in, you get the exact same taste. You get the exact same food. Uh, and and actually, it's that's a good thing. That's actually a very good thing that you know you're going to get a nice consistent breakfast. So uh, enjoy the diner, but uh, in here and uh, just really have to clean up some things. There's some things to straighten up. I want to get my car all packed up uh, for tomorrow. I'm going to leave as early as I can. Uh, one thing I want to do over here, we got the one generator and we got that out. And I want to slide that uh, the log holder down and the trash can down a little bit, make a little bit more room in there. So that will be a, that'll be good. And then, like I said, like you can see my waders are hanging and get those put away. So it should be a little short day here. Uh, and then I'll get into a little bit deadwood in the evening. It didn't quite make the difference. I thought it was going to, but, uh, at least the trash cans kind of away from the, the, the counter there for what if that's what you want to call it. And, Probably just moved it over about 18 inches or so, but that's uh, that's okay. We'll see how it works. If we need to move it again, we can, because the thing is light as anything. And that, believe it or not, that rack has been in like five different places in this cabin so far, I think. Give you a quick update on those uh, PB and J bars uh, that I got at Walmart the clearance. Uh, besides the crows and squirrels, deer aren't really interested in them. So I would have to give them a thumbs down, tell you to stay away from them. Didn't really see the deer interested in them at all. Uh, that candy apple lick. There is something on the side, looks like it was nibbling at it or licking at it, and then a piece was on the ground. Still to be determined whether that thing's gonna work or not, but um, again, for 250, I don't mind trying it. But the, the PB and J bars uh, from what was that, R1, Rack 1, just stay away from them. They, they don't do anything. All the coffee that I've drank over the last you know, five days or so, the pour overs that I've made, saved all the coffee grounds. I'm gonna go ahead and put them underneath of these pines right here. You know, acid loving and uh, get a little bit off, off of this. I don't think it's gonna do too, too much, but uh, you know, why just throw the stuff in the, in the dump here? I can save it and throw it out here and maybe it'll do a little bit of good. Well, I have that Vespillion threat level purple. If you ever get a chance to go down to Delaware, and you see Mispillion Threat Level Purple and you're a big IPA fan, this is a good one. At 11%, it's a doozy, but uh, has a lot of flavor and uh, really hits the spot. A lot of my ham radio and the Wellsboro Ham Club has what they call a net in just a few minutes. It should be starting up. We may hear them as I'm talking here. Well, a net is just where ham operators get together. They test the repeater out, they exercise the repeater and just uh, say what's going on with each other. So we'll listen to a little bit of that. Sounds like somebody's deciding who wants to be the operator for tonight. Here's that, uh, that is not exactly what I wanted to hear, Jerry. QST, QST, QST. This is the Tioga County Amateur Radio Club and ACS Weekly Nap. Opening this week's Tioga County Amateur Radio Club Nap. Barely. <laughs> this nap meets every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on 147.060.
learning more about our hobby and sharing what you know with the rest of the group. This is a directed net with a net control operator, but we want to keep this as an informal and as interesting as practical while using directed net procedures. At this time, we'll take regular check-ins. Please give your call sign and name Tom. Don, Devon County, New York. Hmm. New York, nice. Well, this will go one like this. They'll call and they'll see what's going on. So I'm going to let you go. I'll listen to the rest of the net here. Well, as you know, the spring trip was a little early this year. Usually we're up on Cinco de Mayo, and everybody knows that's George's birthday, so I just wanted to sh give a shout out to George, uh, our special cat, and I'm sure you have them too, that special pet that really means a lot to you. And that's our George, and uh, he'll be 13 tomorrow, so happy birthday, Georgie boy. I'm sure you'll be sleeping through most of it, but uh, happy birthday, have a great day. And, uh, you know, you, you know that you're the special cat of the house. Oh, to think that uh, limbs were crazy. Nice. <laughs> you know, it, it, it would just be so so It was a great trip with the guys. We had a fun time. Uh, if you're going to do the, the canoe stuff, just be careful. Because uh, you, you may go in. You know, Sean and I went in and, uh, you know, it, it happens. But just be careful if you're going to do it. Make sure you wear your flotation device. I don't want to sound like an old man too much, but just make sure you do that. But great time. It was nice to get out there and fish a little bit. Uh, I didn't get as many as I would have hoped, so I thought I was going to just kind of get right back into it and start whacking those fish left and right. But, uh, yeah, it didn't quite happen that way. But I got a few, and I was happy with that uh, just, to, just to do it again for, for a long time. And uh, this certainly won't be the last time we'll get back and we'll do it again. So, the logging guys haven't shown. Uh, they sh scheduled it to come in. Uh, they do have a, some equipment issues. And they do have some equipment issues and getting the right part in, you know, supply chain stuff. I'm not going to even go into that. Uh, so, as soon as they get there, uh, I should know. And, uh, I'm going to get back up, so probably my next video will be back up the cabin to, to see the progress and make sure that things are going as we thought they were going to go, and I don't know why I'm getting passed because I'm doing five miles over the speed limit. So this is White Rook 85 for Syntex 77 at Chairman Camp Cook and Medical Man. Uh, we missed him this time, and hopefully he'll be uh, in another trip. I know he will be in one before Deer Camp, but uh, we will see. We'll see. We'll, we'll keep that one close to the vest for now and see what's going on with that. But uh, we'll catch you next time. Everybody take care. Thanks for coming along and see you next time.